So what's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Black Ops 4 video and in this one I got a lot more information about contracts. They're going to be available in multiplayer blackout and zombies coming June 25th. So next week fellas, brace yourselves. This video is going to inform you on everything you need to know right now as to what's coming in Black Ops 4 and sort of where the community is really divided. Let me give you an example of what I mean. We have the community challenge that's complete on PS4. Note that it's just complete on PS4, but it's public matches across everyone in the community, right? Well, Treyarch posted this, and I said, Update, due to Xbox and PC community challenge not being completed right now, I'm 100% verifying that the PS4 community is disconnected from the Xbox and PC community. And by design, this is a choice by Treyarch, and it's not connected to the Black Ops Pass. So I myself, as a PS4 player, find this very strange. I think our community challenges need to be connected on all consoles because it's a community challenge. This is not a Black Ops Pass DLC exclusive type of thing. They just took the Galil away from multiplayer and made it a reward. But let's talk about daily callings, fellas. We got daily contracts coming to Zombies multiplayer and Blackout. Let's focus on Zombies here for a second. There's a little bit of confusion where this is going to go because the daily calling is going to be completely replaced with daily contracts here in Zombies. So let's take a little bit of a closer look because factions is still a little bit confusing in the air. More rewards are coming for all modes. Players will have a global daily contract and six additional contracts to choose from in each of the four modes for up to 28 contracts available to complete at any given time. We can see some of the rewards here, reserves, nebulum plasma. There's going to be a new ultra weapon bribe for the first time, and your first reward is a black market weapon that you don't own. So this is going to be a new type of reserve that's coming, an ultra weapon bribe. I assume this is going to be the rewards for the hard contracts. There's standard contracts that are easier, and then there's going to be hard contracts that are a lot more challenging. The contract earnings that you'll be able to, the rewards, for completing the contract, reserve cases, one or more based on the challenge required, bonus XP and multiplayer zombies in World League, bonus Nebulum Plasma, and bonus merits in Blackout. Some of the rewards we'll see in standard contracts and some in hard contracts, but I think in the harder contracts we'll be seeing the ultra weapon bribes for the first time. Zombie rewards, there's another note here I'd like to add. Daily contracts will replace the daily callings in zombies, giving players new ways to earn reserves, zombies XP and nebulum plasma, in addition to the mode's extra daily tier skip. A second daily tier skip in zombies will now be rewarded when players complete the daily contract. This means we have our global daily tier skip and a second tier skip by completing the contract, just like we normally do. So. The Ultra Weapon Bribe is coming. Here's what it looks like in the After Action Report when we complete one of our contracts. I imagine this is a standard contract. Now they're planning on introducing a special event later in Operation Spectre Rising which will include an earnable Ultra Weapon Bribe through the Contraband. So in this next special event, fellas, we will be getting the Ultra Weapon Bribe. And I tell you, it's a lot better than duplicates. I don't know, they need to fix duplicates. I think we need to get that out of the reserve system because they keep adding to our black market. How are we supposed to ever get the weapons we want when that is the case? But on the bright side, even though it's DLC three time at the end of this operation, we got daily contracts. And that is something that I've been wanting for so long. I've been wanting not only daily contracts, but weekly contracts where it can just keep resetting and we have a reason to come back. We're gonna have 28 contracts available at any given time and new opportunities to unlock reserves through gameplay in all modes. Players will have more ways to earn in-game rewards than ever just by playing the game. The more you play, the more you earn. And this was never the case before, and we all know it. EA can try to use their legal jargon all day and say these are surprise mechanics, but we all know they're loot boxes. Loot boxes work one way, and they're not just surprises in the game. People pay real money for this stuff and are losing a lot of money because it's such a gamble. Black Ops 3, we had three slots when we were opening up our supply crates, supply drops. Now, we only have one slot that we're opening up, and this is even a worse issue because there's duplicates. It's not hard to count to four, fellas. Two plus two equals four. We all know that there's an issue, and we can't just hide behind it all day, and that's why I've been so negative on Twitter, is because there is a problem that needs to be fixed. We can't all praise this game for what it is. This game's kind of trash, man, and it could be a lot better, and I think contracts 
and factions is definitely going to bring a lot more life into zombies where it's been so boring going DLC to DLC. We've done this for how many years now? All through Black Ops 2, all through Black Ops 3, and in Black Ops 4 here, I'm thinking it's going to get a lot better now that we can actually earn Master Crafts and earn MK2 weapons. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited about this Ultra Weapon Bribe. Stay tuned. I got a lot more coming next week when it all goes down. I'll see you then, fellas. Filing out.